Hi guys. Um, I don't know if this is a video there yet. I'll decide later. But I want to talk about a nigga, a guy. I don't know why I say nigga. Like it's 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 a reflex. And I'm mad because it's like the third time me recording this because either somebody interrupts me or YouTube fucking crashes. But um, I want to talk about fucking this guy. And I'm going to try to make this quick because I'm tired of explaining it over and over again. Um, this kid, he's not a kid, he's older than me. But this guy, um, he's been the main in my love life for a while now, a long time now. And I don't think I've really mentioned him to you on YouTube Maybe I have, maybe I've said some subs, but never really elaborated. And I'm not going to. So, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not blowing up spots. But this guy, um, really changed a lot for me. Like, he changed the game for me. Um, after Angelo being heartbroken, I had a phase this summer and of talking to managers. <laughs> Like, I talk, not mad niggas, but, like, I would flare, like, on Facebook, like, I don't give a fuck, like, you're single, like, I would flare OD. And, like, they were all sides to me. Like, they weren't sides, like, I didn't care about them to the extent that if they decided to not talk to me anymore, it wouldn't affect me. Because my mother told me, like, I remember when I used to be depressed, I would, I remember I would cry in the middle of the fucking lunchroom after Angelo, like a week, like, I would just cry, 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 cry all the time, and my mother told me that after your first heartbreak, like, that shit, no, nobody can ever hurt you, like, you would never feel like crying, because the pain will never equate, or be equivalent to the pain of your first, losing your first love, so these niggas, like, they never hurt me, I never let them hurt me, and I never looked at them, and I never, they never made me care about them. Like, no nigga actually got me to care about them enough to not, to try and change and keep them in my life. But this kid, this guy, changed that, because I thought I would never cry over a nigga again, and this nigga got... <laughs> He, I've cried over him, and I remember once I was crying, and I was looking at myself like, what the fuck are you fucking doing with yourself, why the fuck are you crying over this nigga, I thought no one can hurt me, I thought I was unbreakable, and I thought no nigga could ever make me feel hurt, after Angelo, I was like, it's not possible, no one can fucking hurt me, I'm a fucking boss, like, what the fuck, but that's not the case, and that, this guy, like, I just, I need to let my feelings out, like, that's really why I'm making this video, he, he's the type of person to tell me that, like, if I, say I did something, like, I remember one time, I don't want to say that, but I did something, like, say I waited, like, two hours for him to go out, and, um, and then we ended up not even chilling, right? I was tight. And he would be in the type, like, nobody told you to stay. You feel me? Like, he, he's like, I didn't force you to do anything. You did it because you wanted to. So that's on you. That's the type of shit he would say to me for anything. Me, I know that. And the fact that I still stick around and the fact that I still have feelings for this nigga is my own fault and I don't blame him I'm not mad at him because I'm feeling the way I'm feeling and going through what I'm going through I'm going through it because I'm choosing to stay right there and let him hurt me he's hurting me because I'm letting him and I keep putting myself in that position like I understand that completely but I like I've always wanted like I think niggas should see that like that the girl like I don't blame him, but I just wish he could see the fucking effort of me putting myself through that. 
Like, even though he's not asking me, I'm not doing it because I want to be rewarded. I'm doing it because I want him to be happy. I want to make him happy. Like, dumb bitches that be around him. Like, I feel like when I like a guy, I don't want other girls to be around him. Not because I'm jealous. That's part of the reason, obviously. But it's because I know girls and I know bitches. And I know hoes. And I know what the fuck they're capable of. And that's what gets me tight. Because I swear to God, if anyone was to hurt him, I would fucking spaz. If I ever knew that a girl was playing him, I would put that bitch in her place. Because to me, he's amazing. And he's great. And any bitch who doesn't realize that and who fucks with him doesn't deserve him. Because in my eyes, if he's willing to want to go out with you and if he's willing like to say sweet shit to you and text you first and walk you to class and shit, that shit that I want, you feel me? Like, you're rejecting something that means everything to someone and you don't even appreciate it you feel me like someone always likes someone and you may not think it's like you may think he's in like you may not think it's special but to someone else to have that same nigga do the same exact thing <laughs> would make her a whole fucking day but there you are brushing it off like it's nothing i hate that shit <laughs> and I let people talk shit, and I let, because I don't care, the only opinion that really matters is his, and my own perception of myself. I mean, I really, like, no nigga has ever made me care about him walking out, like, I didn't give a fuck. He has me sitting here making this fucking video pouring out my fucking feelings because I care that he's walking out my life and I hate it I hate this shit my laptop's about to die oops Yikes. And I hate it. It fucking sucks. Because I want him. And like, he has his own views about shit. Like, about relationships and this and that. And I have my own too. But I respect him, like, I, I mean, I don't want to completely change him, because I think he's perfect the way he is, like, people are like, people talk so much shit about him, and like, they say things to me, but I don't see it, like, when I see him, like, I get nervous, like, people look at me, like, I'm not even trying to gas myself up, but they be like, oh, Lauren, like, you're mad pretty, like, I'm around guys all the time, like, not because, you know, I just, I'm around a lot of guys, and I always, you know, I'm confident in myself, of course I'm confident, and I, and I love myself very much, but a lot of niggas always tell me, like, oh, you're a princess, and like, like, I want you, and like, I want you to be my girl, I hear it a lot, and I, I know to an extent that I'm enough for, for, for someone, like, to someone, I'm everything, but I feel like when I'm around him, like, I'm so fucking insecure, I feel like, even when I'm not, even if my period passed for the month, I, I feel like my period could come on my pants any second in front of him, it, it's, it's embarrassing, it, I'm embarrassed to even admit that. I feel like, like, I'm, I'm not, not that I'm not good enough, but I feel, 
that it's exactly what I feel. I feel like around him, I'm not enough for him. Like, I can't do... The reason that he's looking and talking to other girls is because I'm not fucking... I'm not... Well, like, you know, it sucks. It's not that I'm not, like... It's not... I know it's not that I'm not good enough, but... It sucks to even fathom or to even have the thought that I'm not the the girl that he wants. Like, he could think I'm cute. I don't know if he does or, or whatever. But he could be like, nah, I just don't want her that way. Like, I just don't want her. Like, she's not the one I want. And it sucks. It fucking sucks. That... And I hate feeling like that. I hate feeling like like I'm not good enough. And I hate feeling like I'm like I'm an embarrassment to be with. And I hate feeling like like I'm annoying. You know, you ever feel like that? Like you want to talk to a nigga, but like you feel like you're being annoying. And I honestly hate that feeling. But yet. I want to feel, I don't want to feel that way, but I want to be around him because I care about him and I stand by his side and I stick with him. Even when I try to talk to other guys, I don't want to do it because in my head I'm like, yo, no, like I just can't do it because it hurts because it's him that I'll compare them to. And it fucking, like, I'm battling right now because I have so much, like, confusion. Like, people, people talk so much shit. Like, I've heard, like, the shit that people say about me and him. And I think it's funny because to them, they just think it's, like, two people fucking, right? But to me... It's, like, more than that. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, people don't know the whole story. People don't know how long me and him have been talking. People don't know, you know... You know, people don't know the level of the, the relationship. It's not a relationship, but people don't know. And it's way more than what people see it as. And he knows it. I know it. And... But like I said, it's a difficult situation because he doesn't feel the same way anymore. Or I never know if he ever did, but it really sucks. Even like thinking about it now, like my eyes get watery because like I always try to get his attention and it seems like I'm getting everyone but his, you know, and it hurts a lot. Yeah, I feel like a mess in my head right now. Like, it's not desperation, but it's just anxiety of, like, trying so hard. And, like, people are, like, tell me to stop. Like, Lauren, no, fuck him, stop. You can't talk to him no more. Like, he told you he doesn't want you. And you're still, you still like him. You still think about him. You still talk about him. And it's hard. Fuck. I never really... I never thought I would, another nigga would get me to be like that after Angelo. I thought I was done being like that. But... I mean, I guess. So, bye, guys. If you have advice, please fucking tell me. Please. Because I need advice to, to get over this nigga. Because I'm just hurting myself. Okay. Bye, guys.